In exercise 5 of the Jasmine workshop series, we'll be looking at batch computing and in particular um, running scripts on the Lotus Compute cluster on Jasmine. So here's our scenario. Having established in exercise 4 that I can extract the total cloud cover or TCC variable from a single file in the inter era interim dataset, I now wish to extract data for an entire month. So this is a kind of common scenario where you, you learn how to do something for an individual file or time step, and then you want to scale it up to process more data. So I will write some simple scripts to batch up separate processes that use the CDO or climate data operators tool to extract the TCC variable from a series of era interim files. Each time I run the script, I'll loop through four six hourly files for one day. And then I will run the script 30 times, once for each day in September 2018. And each run will be submitted to the Lotus cluster. Our objectives are stated here. After completing this exercise, I'll be able to write scripts to batch up tasks and then submit those scripts to the Lotus cluster. In terms of Jasmine resources, I will start on a login server and from there I will log into one of the scientific analysis servers or SCI servers. Um, I will then submit jobs to run on the compute nodes on our batch compute cluster, which is known as Lotus. I'll need access to the CDO tools, which are part of the common software that's available to Jasmine users. And I'll need read and write access to a group workspace because I'll be writing my outputs there. I'll also need read access to the CEDA archive, um, which is where the era interim data set is available. And in doing this, I may need to consult the, the help documentation to help me along. In terms of local resources, I will just need an SSH client, which allows me to log into Jasmine. Here's the outline of the task itself. Now the recommended way of doing each step in the task is covered in the cheat sheet below, but you may wish to try and solve it for yourself first. So your starting point is on a Jasmine login server, and we explained how to get onto there in exercise one. Step two is to SSH to one of the scientific analysis servers or SI servers. Um, step three is more involved because this is about actually writing a bash script um, called extract era data that calls the CDO extraction command. Uh, but don't worry, we have an example script that you could use if you need some pointers along the way. Step four is then running writing a script called submit all and submit all is able to loop over multiple time steps um, and then that in turn can call the extract era data script that you've written in step three and submit that job to Lotus for each day that you want to run for. Note that initially we suggest that submit all just runs for the first and second of the month. Now in the description of our task, we said we want to run for all 30 days in the month. But actually, when we are prototyping and when we are testing that our scripts are doing the right thing, it's really important that we do things in small stages. So we start by just running for the first and second of September 2018. And once we're sure that it's all working, then we will scale it up. So once you have the scripts in place, you can run the submit all script. Um, and then from there, it's good to be able to examine which jobs are running in the Lotus queue. You can also examine the standard output and standard error files um, that are being generated by each of the jobs running on Lotus. Once you've been through this process and you're happy that everything is working properly, then the idea is that you scale up from running for two days to running for 30 days by modifying the contents of submit all so it will run for the whole of September 2018. 
if you rerun the, the submit all script, that should run for all the days of the month. Again, we can examine which jobs are in the queue. And the final step here is to actually kill one of the jobs, um, either whilst it's queued or whilst it's running, and just to see how that is done. When you finish working through the task, there are some extra questions here, which you might like to test yourself with. If necessary, referring to the help documentation. The same questions are in the notes and you can refer to them when you finish working through the exercise. We'll go through the solutions to the questions in the next video. So what next? Try out the task for yourself and then go on and watch the solutions and discussion video. And the video includes a walkthrough of the task, discussions of alternative approaches and guidance on best practice. It also gives answers to the self-test questions.